Hello friends, I'm Joanne Gladson and welcome back to my channel, Joe's Learning. So today I'm going to tell you the story of How Big is a Foot, written by Rolf Miller. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there lived a king and queen. They were a happy couple for they had everything in the world. However, when the queen's birthday came near, the king had a problem. What would he give to someone who had everything? He thought and he thought and he thought until suddenly he had an idea. He would give the queen a bed. There was no such thing as a bed invented yet. So the king decided to have one made for the queen. The king called his prime minister and asked him to please have a bed made. The prime minister called the chief carpenter and the chief carpenter called the apprentice and told him to make a bed. How big is a bed? The apprentice asked. How big is a bed? The chief carpenter asked the prime minister. A good question, the prime minister said. And he asked the king, How big is the bed? The king thought and he thought and he thought until suddenly he had an idea. The bed must be big enough to fit the queen. He called the queen and told her to lie down on the floor and then walked in a circle around her. He measured the length and width of the bed using his feet. He didn't mind that the bed must be three feet wide and six feet long to be big enough to fit the queen. The king told the prime minister, who told the chief carpenter, who told the apprentice, the bed must be three feet wide and six feet long to be big enough to fit the queen. The apprentice took off his shoes and with his little feet, he measured and made a bed to fit the queen. When the king saw the bed, he called the queen at once and told her to try. But the bed was much too small for the queen. The king was so angry that he threw the apprentice into jail. The apprentice was unhappy. Why was the bed too small for the queen? He thought and he thought and he thought. Until suddenly he had an idea. A bed which was three king's feet wide and six king's feet long is naturally bigger than a bed which was three apprentice feet wide and six apprentice feet long. I can make a bed to fit the queen if I know the size of the king's foot. He explained it to the prime minister who explained it to the king. The king took off one shoe and called a famous sculptor. The sculptor made an exact marble copy of the king's foot and sent it to Jay. The apprentice took the marble copy of the king's foot and with it he measured three feet wide and six feet long and made a bed to fit the queen. The bed was ready just in time for the queen's birthday. The king called the queen at once and told her to try it. The queen got into bed and the bed fit the queen perfectly. The king was very happy. He immediately called the apprentice from jail and made him a royal prince. He ordered a big parade and all the people came out to cheer the little apprentice prince. And forever after that, anyone who wanted to measure anything used a copy of the king's foot. And when someone said, my bed is six feet long and three feet wide, everyone knew exactly how big it was. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe now and also enable the bell icon to get notifications on all my latest videos. Bye friends, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting videos in Joe's Learning.